guys welcome back to the channel tonight guys i am back at the most haunted place in my city and actually one of the top 10 most haunted places in the usa this place has been around since the 1900s and it was once used for grain and mill and legend has it there is a young girl who haunts the top window in a light blue dress and she died in the fire at this mill her spirit and her ghost can still be seen here today and today i brought my boyfriend and we're going to be investigating this place to see if it's truly haunted i actually have been here a few few times on the channel and you guys have been begging me to come back so it's about a year later and we're gonna see if we get new evidence today I have new equipment and I'm really excited to see if we can get any more evidence of the spirits that haunt this ground or unreveal any of the history and the ghosts of this ground the Kia mill was built in 1918 over a hundred years ago the intention of this building was for farmers to be able to buy grain in bulk it ran up until the 1970s there was a huge fire and the mill never recovered and spirits are still in the building to this day actually a family who lived here at the the mill sadly was burnt down with the fire as well. I think it was a couple of parents with their kids, definitely a younger girl and a married couple. And that's like at least a hundred feet tall and, and the story that you're gonna hear is kind of sad. It is very sad that their spirits did not end up resting easily and some people think there's negative spirits here so it is nighttime now and it's only getting darker so we're gonna go run some tests and see what we can capture. It is so cold right now and there's this little hole on the gate. Okay so we're gonna go through this hole here and we're gonna go up into this room. Not up into it but into you know the area. Wait, why does someone have their mochi mm -hmm. nut here? <laughs> Dang, they really like those Korean corn dogs. Okay, it's really dark outside right now, but this is the Kia Mill, and I'm hoping you guys can see that it says Kia Milling on the building. I wish I had a bigger light, but this is all I have. It is freaking dark out here. How are you feeling? This is your first time. I'm sorry, I just blinded you by the lights. You're sparkly. How are you feeling right now? Oh, uh, well, cold. <laughs> it's kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. It's really tall and like glooming. It, it feels like something's watching me. Yeah, there has been a lot of different paranormal sites here. One of the people actually claimed that they heard footsteps within the building, like running around like two kids chasing each other. Somebody said they've heard baby giggles. Somebody else said they heard a body falling from the top and smashing to the bottom floor where we're standing right now. So there's been a lot of really just unexplainable paranormal things. Also, people say they smell lavender in the air. That's another thing that That's locals weird. I say. Smell that. You smell lavender? Well, my nose doesn't work, so he would smell it before no, yeah, I do. It, it, it smells like lavender. People say they smell lavender because that was the perfume that the mother used to use. Um, that was her favorite scent. I'm like not even joking. I do smell lavender. Are you serious? Yeah, no, I smell lavender. I don't smell any of that, but I've never, I've I mean, never smelled that. Your nose is kind of broken. And stuff. Yeah, I did have no like... surgery, so <laughs> exposed. But yeah, we're gonna run some tests, um, and I'm gonna show you guys inside of this hole on the other side. There's a hole that we can see the inside of the building. Of, do you want to see? Sure. It's so creepy. It's like this little. What is that? Trash hole bin thing. I wonder oh, what stuff what is in there. Oh, you know this is actually? No, what is so that? this actually used to, this would connect to the basement because trucks would come over this, at least in the Midwest, you would pull over this and you would dump. So oh. like the trailers would dump their seed or like their, their, trash. their stuff in it, not trash. Because their was, seeds, it was this, a mill. It was a mill. So they were trying to dump off their stuff and then they'd bring it in and store it. So that oh. probably goes underground, honestly, which is why these holes are probably here. I feel like it's gonna cave in eventually. No, it's concrete. Whoa, this caved in a lot right here. That's creepy. Maybe it was with the rain. <gasps> Somebody added a ladder so you can see into the, oh, what was that? There's something that just flew I from here to here. Bat. Was I that a bat? It was a bat? Yeah, I think it flew out of the building. That was creepy. I wonder <laughs> if they do live in here. I, I, I would imagine I would bats this living in here place for them to live. You see, somebody added this little step ladder to conveniently look into the haunted building. This is a hole to get into the haunted building. Do you want to be our sacrifice? Sure. All right, <laughs> tell us if you see anything. All right, he's getting on the step ladder. Do you see anything? Anything at all? That was a weird sound. He's looking into the haunted building. He's grabbing his phone's flashlight. Oh, there's a bunch of spray paint in there and stuff. Really? Yeah. I've never looked into there because there was never this ladder here before. That's where they added it. You want to go look? Yeah, I definitely want to go look. Isn't that weird in there? Like here, oh let me let me bring gosh. this light up here for you. There's a face on the wall. Really? That is I didn't so see that. creepy. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it because I don't have the best light, but I'm going to zoom in and try to up the brightness on the video as much as I can. There's like a graffiti face. 
It's so, so creepy. Oh my gosh, there's graffiti It's weird. Do you everywhere. see those, those beams? Those look like wooden beams. Yeah. This whole building might collapse. This eventually. building will eventually collapse, so it would not be a very good place to be standing. If the whole thing were to fall down right now, we would be dead. We'd be dead. Okay, guys, so now that we've walked around and checked it out, I have my bag of equipment here, and this is all equipment that I recently got. But tonight, we're going to see if we can get any answers from the spirits here. We had a voice say, John, we had a voice say Daisy, so we believe those are spirits connected to the land, and I'm going to use the rods to see if we can communicate tonight. So we are going to set out this REM pod here and see if we get any activity. If anything touches the top, it will beep and it will light a certain color to show temperature or touch. So I'm going to turn this one on just like this. We're going to set it down right here. Okay, that was because I just touched it. It's got to reset. Yeah. There okay, you go. so now if it goes off. You know something. He said it happening. right on that guy. Yeah, he yeah, okay. said it right on something like it's, a, it's like it's a heart. So yeah. that's for the spirits. If they want to touch it, they can. Next, we have a EMF reader. So this, as you guys know, can light up. But the battery's not working. No, she's dead. Is it dead? Yeah, I have another oh. one. Don't worry. Okay, <laughs> you hoarder. So this is an EMF reader, and it will light up to red if there are any spirits here. So we're going to set this down right here as well for now. <gasps> it almost went off. It almost went off, but it didn't. This is my scare bear. So this one, if any ghost wants to touch it, it's actually, I've learned that ghost children are more attracted to toys. So if they feel connected to a teddy bear or a certain toy, they're more likely to touch this than a REM pod. If anything touches him, he will beep just like this. Set him against the wall, actually. Yeah, I was gonna say, put him against it. There we go. If anything touches that, we know we're mean in business. And of course, I'm going all out. I have these cat balls that move like this. So if anything pushes it, once it resets, it will light up rainbow just like that. So I have a lot of equipment that we set out for the ghost. Nothing has gone out yet. So we're gonna play with the spirit rods. Spirits of the mill. If you guys would like to communicate with us, can you open the rods as fast as you can to show that you're here? Very fast open. Okay, thank you so much. Can you guys put it into the center to show that you're here and ready to communicate with us today? They're slowly moving back to the center. I feel like these are very much pushing on their own because there's wind of all directions. Thank you, can you keep, keep them at the center? All right, if we are speaking to the little girl in the blue dress, can you cross the rods for me? Thank you. Can you open the rods back to the center? Thank you so much. Um, if you are here today, little girl in the blue dress, and you would love to get to know us better and share your story more, can you open the rods to my right? Actually, turn the rods to the right, pointing directly at the mill. I cannot make this up. Thank you. Thank you so much for showing you're here. So I feel like she's here and she wants to communicate. She feels friendly. I want to know if I can get any words from the little girl who haunts this mill. And I want my boyfriend to see if he can communicate with her as well. All right, so my boyfriend is going to try the rod. going to see if he can get any communication from the spirits of this mill. So let's see if you can get any communication. If there's more than one spirit here, open the rods. If there's only one, cross the rods. More than one. They're opening all by themselves and very wide. Okay. <laughs> we have a bunch here. If the ghost I'm speaking to is a boy, cross the rods. Spirit I'm talking to is a girl, open the rods. A girl. If you're a young spirit, can you cross the rods? If you're old, can you open them? Ooh, I think you're talking to the little girl. Oh, is that the one that they see in the windows? Yeah. Is this the little girl that um, lived here? Are we speaking with? If so, cross the rods. If not, open them. They're crossing. Thank you. We're excited to communicate with you more tonight. This is definitely the little girl yeah, here. She is sure. active and I feel like she's a nice playful spirit. I think I'm going to pull out my spirit box app to see if she has any more clear words she would like to communicate with us because the app is a really good way to get more answers. Okay guys, so we do have the spirit box app. This app is my favorite one to communicate with spirit. And I'm going to see if the spirit of the little girl would love to give us more answers today about the history, about herself. I would love to communicate with her and get to know her better. So I'm hoping to hear from her or John, who I heard from in a past video. John and Daisy were the two names I got through, and I want to see if they will tell us anything about the mill or why they stay here. All right, let's start. Hello, spirits. Can you tell us where we are right now? The mill. I heard that super yeah, clear. Yeah, I heard it Thank too. Thank you. Okay, are we speaking with John or Daisy? Are we speaking with the spirits of John or Daisy? Go away. I thought I heard go away. Get out. It said get, get out. Get out. 
Is this a spirit of the little girl? The mill? Why are you guys trapped here at the mill? Burn? Did you guys burn in the fire at the mill? Did you burn at the fire here? <laughs> are you a nice spirit? Get out. Demon. The, or who am I talking to at the moment? Is it the little girl? It is. That was so clear. If you don't mind giving us another sign by either touching the REM pod or the bear. <laughs> oh, I saw something fly. It was a bug. <laughs> Let's get the shit out of me. Sorry, sorry, guys. Do the spirits here like to play? What year did this building burn down in? I heard a dog barking in the distance. This is weird. Okay, since I didn't know if they did or didn't want to play a little game, I decided to see if any of the spirits here are going to be playful. So, we're gonna play a little game, and with this game, I'm going to clap and see if any spirits will finish the clap or the sound that I'm about to do, or whistle and see if we get any whistles or sounds back from the spirits. Are you ready? Yeah, let's get it going. Okay, spirits. I know there's random dogs barking and I don't know where they're coming from. I don't know if that's a sign, but um, if there's any spirits here at the mill that want to play a game, I'm going to clap. And if you could finish the clap, I would appreciate it. Okay, didn't hear any claps back. Maybe could somebody whistle? Can you whistle back to show that you're here? Do you see anything in the upper windows? I can't really see anything. It's very dark, it's very late. Well guys, we did a lot of tests and I'm very fascinated to know more about the history of this mill. I hope they never knock it down. And I hope that I caught something on camera that I couldn't hear or see with my physical eye or my physical ear. Cause sometimes audio on footage, you know, captures things that we can't see or hear. Um, but I definitely do think this place is haunted. I definitely do eventually want to get more and more equipment and keep coming back here and keep coming back here until I get physical evidence of a ghost or you know see an apparition or something crazy because i believe it's very true i've heard so many people so many locals say they have seen the girl who haunts the window in the middle um and i would love to see her someday and spirits of the mill thank you for having us here um i mean you no harm and no disrespect i think that this property has a lot of history to it a lot of memories to it and um hopefully this mill stays here forever i definitely do think it is one of the most haunted places in the USA and definitely the most haunted place in my town. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash a like, subscribe to join the family and comment down below. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it really is haunted by John and Daisy? And let me know if we should come back with more equipment in the future and do more tests and what other tests you guys would like to see us in a future video do here at the mill. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.